I am here wo walking, praising and worshiping the Lord, knowing that He is our firm foundation, that He is the truth, the way, and the life, that the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Jesus' Father has adopted us, and we are children. And I'm just glorifying him this morning, giving him thanks, praise, honor, and glory. For I was born for him. He is my satisfaction. He's my joy. He's my peace. He's everything that I want and I desire. From him, I have everything that is good and is wonderful. And he is so sovereign and so confident on himself that he put himself in me, trusting me with jobs and works that I would never imagine I was going to be able to fulfill them. And he says, he he believes in me. He could do it by himself, but he chose not to, to use me, to walk with me, to trust me with beautiful tasks, to trust me with my children, with my marriage, with the people I pray for. And he trusts me and he knows I'm, I'm weak. He knows I'm, I need him. He knows that without him, I cannot do anything. And he delights in that reality. I praise the Lord, the Almighty God. I worship Him. He's my joy. He's my peace. And everything that is worthy of honor and glory is in Him. He is honor and glory. He is to be glorified and to be honored every day of my life. He made me and He is the only one that can satisfy the desires of my heart. He's the only one that can fill my heart with joy. Give me peace without, without any understanding. He would trust in me with things that I would never think I could do it. <laughs> I just worship him. And as he did it for me, he's there for you too. He's alive in you. If you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. He loves you. He cares for you. He has the most amazing plans for you. He created you. You are here for a reason. And you and he is your reason for existence. He has amazing plans and works and jobs for you to do for him. And those jobs and that work is going to be the most satisfying, the most glorious, the most beautiful. Because he himself will put himself in you if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord, as your Savior, and you invite the Holy Spirit to baptize you in, in, your, in, in your life. But if you do not believe in Jesus Christ, you can make that decision today. He is by your side. He has been since you were born. You, he created you waiting for you with anxious heart. He doesn't want you to remember what you have done, but to just come back to him. Say, Lord, forgive me. I want to be your daughter. I want to, or your son. I want to accept you in my life as my Lord and my Savior. I want to be yours all the days of my life. I live for you because that is what I've made, I was made for. And you are the only one that can satisfy me. And if you do this, say, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, fill me up. Come and take over. I'm done with doing my ways. I'm done with my ways. Jesus Christ, lead me to have your precious Holy Spirit within me. To have a life that is from glory to glory with you. Submitting myself to you, knowing that you are the only one, the only answer to my life, the only one that can satisfy. In Jesus' name, pray it. And you have the glory of God. Humble yourself in the areas that you have been holding on to. If you are a Christian, just for you to be moving from glory to glory, it requires us us to let go of some things that we do not want to let go of, some things that we want to be Lord and we don't let him to be Lord. 
when we let him to be Lord, when we give him to him, we are filled. We are finally over that cycle of addiction or pain or hurt. We can overcome and be glorious in that area because the Almighty God is sovereign over all things. He knows what is best. We do not, but He does. So I just highly recommend you to go to Him every day, talk to Him every day, surrender to Him every day, and trust Him. Let Him be your Lord and your Savior in every area. And, and ask Him, Lord, show me what is in my heart that is not of you. Anything that is in me that does not belong to you, like um, like um, David asked, ask him and he will show it to you. We all need it. We all need it. It's just like moving from glory to glory. When we surrender, we just grow deeper and deeper in his love. And we go from glory to glory in wings of eagles. Just, it's beautiful. I want to encourage you today to love on Jesus Christ, to surrender your life, for you to have the joy of the Lord in your heart, to live for Him in a way that is everlasting, and, and for, uh, for you to have a riches of life where He loves you, and He will satisfy you in all your needs. When you give it to Him, He will give you more more without your mind. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.